it shows the uh, one of the potential uh, uh, key characteristics of disaster of earthquake disaster and tsunami. That is, this type of disaster has very low frequency of occurrence, but it, it can produce a very high impact. Okay. And uh, this event actually helped improving the public awareness of this. So after the event, many countries developed their own uh, disaster warning system, disaster warning center. Our team and they also help developing one or working with helping the uh, Asian disaster preparedness center to develop a regional warning center of France. It is still operating and continue to operate uh, 24 hours a day and 30 days a week. Provide a warning about the tsunami, cyclone, flood forecast flooding, and it's also avoid the earthquake activity. It's uh, located in our campus. Now let's come back to this, uh, the basic pictures uh, show. Although the picture of showing the seismic activities is quite clear that we are in the in seismic activity zone. But uh, to design building and structure to withstand this earthquake, engineers cannot directly use this map. We have to control this map into this type of map called seismic hazard map, which is a map showing the ground motion parameter, the index that indicate the ground shaking intensity of key ground acceleration, which is more familiar to engineers. This is a key ground acceleration with a very low probability of exceedance in a few years. It's a standard index to define the ground shaking intensity for the building design. Our team developed this map from the information about the spectral record, as well as from the knowledge about active fall in this region, in Thailand, and in Vietnam, and in Andaman Sea. We can develop maps of other ground parameters, not just PGA, but uh, I think many of you who are structured in this year are quite familiar. It's so called spectral acceleration. Spectral acceleration for short period, like a point two second. It is used as an index to define the damage potential to low rise building. While the spectral acceleration for at one second is used as an index for defining damage potential to taller structure and the next story building. With these two parameters, we can construct this type of spectrum. So, with this map, with this information, our team with several business uh, partners from other institutes. We developed the first national standard on seismic system disaster. We used the, the American code, which I think most of you know well, ACE 7 as a model for our case. And uh, we, we, then, we, we are able to define the, the ground motion parameter for the building design, seismic system design, in every location. In Point the uh, SCE procedure. But there are some areas which is, uh, we cannot use this procedure, which is a uh, dislocation of Bangkok and uh, every province. This is uh, located in a special uh, geological condition. This is a uh, huge, deep project which, uh, which can amplify the ground motion. So in this area, we actually conduct a research study and then develop a special type of uh, design spectrum. We show that the ground motion here will be different from the ground motion elsewhere. It will be a kind of long period, long duration ground motion. 